Hi, it's Chester Tugwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. And in this Excel video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create error bars showing standard deviation. So I've got my four data sets here. And the first thing to do would be to calculate the mean or average for each data set. So choose average first of all. Select my data set. And then copy down. Standard deviation is also a function for that. Now, depending on your version of Excel, you may have uh, the old version uh, only available to you, standard deviation, that function there. But if you can see standard deviation.s, you should go for that one. So I'll do the same calculation. So I'm going to select my data, and that'll do the standard deviation calculation for me. Okay, so I've got my two calculations. Now, I'm going to create a little column chart uh, for this data. So I'm going to start by selecting uh, the row headings for each data set. And then Control, I'm going to select the mean calculations there. And I'm going to create my chart. So to do that, I'd go to the Insert tab on the ribbon. And I'm just going to choose a standard column chart. So these are my mean values. So I could always link this chart title to that column heading there. Okay, so now I want to add my error bars. So I'm going to go up to the plus sign. Let's just move this up a bit so you can see. Go to plus sign, error bars. Right, go to the little pull out menu there. Tempting to go for this one, but we're not going to. We're going to go to more options. So down here on the side, uh, error amount. We're not setting it to a fixed value, although it has at the moment a 10. We want the amounts to be the standard deviation amounts. So we go to custom, specify value, and then we select our standard deviation calculations, positive error values. In this case, click on OK and it gives you the little error bars. Okay, that's all there is to this video. Hopefully you found it useful. Uh, please subscribe if you have, but for now, goodbye to the next video.